Let's make x the subject of the formula in this equation. So look at where x is hiding. We need to bring it out and make it stand alone. So we need to remove this v cubed first of all. What do I do? You can either cross multiply. If you do that, you would get it out of here. Or you can multiply both sides by v cubed just to get rid of v cubed. So let's multiply both sides by v cubed here by v cubed. So what do you observe? It's gone. So that leaves you with what? V cubed y is equal to the square root of what? T squared minus x squared. There's something, again, we need to remove, which is square root. So what we do, we square both sides to get rid of the square root. Square both sides. This square, we cancel the square root. And that leaves you with what? V cubed y all squared. So let's apply the square on V cubed y. The squared on v cubed is going to give you v raised to the 6 because 3 times 2 is 6. But again, y squared as well, not just v raised to the 6. And this is equal to t squared minus x squared. So it is easier to just transpose negative x squared to the left-hand side because it's going to make sure that the sign of x squared is positive. So that's going to be x squared is equal to t squared. Transpose this, you have minus v raised to the 6, y squared. Are we done? No, we have squared here, which has to be eliminated. What do we do? We square root both sides to get rid of the squared here. So square root both sides here and here. And then x is equal to the square root of what? t squared minus v raised to the power 6, y squared. I'll see you in the next video.